Hey guys, welcome to the OT Guide. My name's Dana. Today I'm going to show you guys Boom Learning and specifically what it is and how you can use it during your teletherapy session. Um, so step one, you should use Boom Learning because it's going to make your teletherapy sessions more engaging, more interactive. They have a million different activities for free on Boom Learning. Uh, so you'll never run out of things to do. And then they also have activities that challenge a variety of different skill sets for a variety of different ages. Okay. So step one, I'm going to show you how to use it, but step one, you need to make an account. So go to wow.boomlearning.com and you're going to create a new account. It's going to be a teacher account. Okay. I already had, I already have an account, so I'm not going to make one uh, and show you how to do it. So just follow the instructions. And really the only two tabs I use for Boom Learning is this library tab and this store tab. So I'm probably only scratching the surface of what this resource can really provide for us, but this is all I need for my teletherapy sessions, library and store. So I'm going to show you the store. And again, I'm not paying for anything. I'm just doing uh, free activities. So you can sort by uh, subject. So I click occupational therapy. I click DEX and then occupational therapy. And these are all, oh, and then I do price low to high. So anything worth zero points is totally free. So let's say I want this one, identifying emotions. I would add it to my cart, click on my cart, and then check out. So now I have this new identifying emotions activity and it's an occupational therapy activity. So now I click on library, that's where it will be downloading or now it's already downloaded. Now I'm gonna show you the different types of activities you can use during teletherapy. So let's say I'm working with a preschooler, I might wanna do a puzzle. So they have this flower puzzle deck. So your student would drag and drop to make the flowers. And so you could either during teletherapy share your screen and give control if that's a feature on the platform you're using, or alternatively, you can just email your child's parents this link uh, and they'll just go right to this page and then they can drag and drop and do the activity. Uh, if, especially if your student has like an iPad and they're a preschooler, they can work on their finger isolation to drag and drop these puzzle pieces. So that's cute. I really like that one. They also have a zones of regulation one that I've used for my older students that I work on zones with. Uh, this one's good also if you're working on typing. So it gives you different scenarios. So uh, you can't figure out how to solve a math problem. What zone are you in? Definitely red zone. Uh, you get to sit next to your best friend on the bus. Green zone. So you get the picture with that one. Very cute for an older student. Um, there's color matching ones. I like this one, this, this build a snowman one. This reminds, reminds me of the one I, the snowman one I made. So they drag and drop these pieces to make their own snowman. Uh, there's some visual perception ones like match the shamrocks where you have to go and, and click which one it looks like. It's actually tr trickier than it looks. Um, so you can see there are so many activities. Again, I'm only using library and I'm only using store. Um, so if I click on store again, you can see like how many free activities there are. Uh, and they're also, look, there's a Halloween one. They also have like a million holiday themed ones. So store and library, these are the two tabs I use. But anyway, as you can see, it's really versatile. You just need to be able to share your screen. And if you can't share your screen, worst case scenario, you just email your students the links to the activities and they can do them on their own. Um, but check out Boom Learning if you haven't already. It's fun, it's easy. And I hope this video was helpful for you all. If you liked it, please comment, subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you all here next time. Bye.